Right on the border between Utah and Arizona, there are some of the most spectacular trails in the world. That is exactly where I'm going to camp and explore in this episode. To get there, I drive from Kanab, Utah, 37 miles east on Highway 89, and turn south onto House Rock Valley Road. This road is unpaved, minimally maintained and impassable, even for four-wheel drive vehicles when it's wet. There are so many washes here and um, there could be flash floods and it's, there, it could be very dangerous, you just can take your car away. The Wirepass Trailhead is about 8.3 miles from the start of this road, but I first need to make another stop. I need to get to my um, campsite, which is supposed to be really beautiful. I don't know how busy it's going to be. Hopefully I will be lucky and get a spot for tonight. The state line campground is located on the border of Utah and Arizona. In a matter of seconds, you are leaving Utah, then welcome to Arizona. And then again, you are back in Utah. When I arrive in the campground, I fortunately have the place to myself. All sites are well maintained, clean, and also free of charge. This is a great base while exploring this magical area. Ready to go. Back in the car, but just for five minutes, that's how close this campground is to the Water Pass Trailhead. For this hike, you need a day-use permit that you can buy online for $6 per person. There is no good signal, so always better to buy it in advance. There is also a register to sign. Although the hike from War Pass to Buckskin Gulch is considered easy, it is important to be prepared. It is 11 a.m. Utah time, 10 a.m. Arizona time. Seems pretty clear. The path here, very, very excited. I follow the Desert Wash, a wide and sandy path with no shade but magnificent surroundings of low reddish cliffs. Although it is a popular hike, I hardly encounter other hikers, but it is the middle of the week. One mile into the trail, the cliffs become higher and closer together. I finally make it to the slot canyon I was looking for. I didn't expect trunks to be blocking the way, going over one and then going under another. I knew I was gonna find obstacles on the way. I just didn't know it was gonna be so early in the hike. Look at this. The obstacle I was expecting though was a 10 foot drop but there was supposed to be a stable ladder at that point to go down or up. I was told that a few weeks ago uh, there was a flash flood in this area and there used to be a ladder right here, but it's done. Right now what there is is just this rope and a trunk that somebody put there. I don't know how strong it is, how stable it is, and I won't be able to see really what I'm, where I'm stepping into. So I'm just gonna take an alternative route. I turn back. On the south side, there is a overland route. I follow the sign and from the top, I can look into the slot canyon. Now, time to go down. This is steep but it should be fun and no as risky as going uh, through the canyon I was just at. I make it to the other side and soon after I get into the second slot canyon of War Pass. Some parts are less than three feet wide and somehow feels taller. From the beginning of the trailhead to the junction with Buckskin Gulch is about one 0.7 miles one way. From here, you can go as far as you want into a uh, Buckskin uh, Gulch. 
I'm trying to do a 10 mile round trip today, but um, it will depend uh, on the conditions, how deep I go into this, this is Log Canyon. From there, it doesn't take long to get to the famous Buckskin Gulch Slab Canyon. Consider it like not other canyon in the world. Maybe the longest. This slab is about 13 miles of challenging, a narrow gorge with stunning Navajo sandstone walls. This canyon is deep and some parts are even dark from very narrow stretches to wide ones, with some obstacles to make it even more fun along the way, including some potholes, but I'm prepared. It wasn't that deep, but the water is really cold. These curving sandstone walls are simply magical. Wandering in this place in solitude is fun, but it's also energizing and healing for the mind, the body, and the soul. To this point is about four and a half miles from where I started. I have decided to turn around from here because I met a hiker that's just warned me that there is a, a snake. And there are places like this that are very wide that uh, probably if I see the snake, I can kind of go around. But there are other areas that are very narrow and I don't want to <laughs> take any chances on this hike alone. Although beautiful, it is time for me to turn back and face once again the same obstacles, including potholes and the deep drop in the first slot canyon. I'm gonna try to see if I can make it. If not, I probably will have to go around. So let's see how that works. Okay, I made it. Safe and sound out of the canyon and back at the campground. Time to relax, enjoying the sunset, the remoteness, and the peace. A day of adventure in slot canyons and a magical night in the wilderness that I look forward to coming back to. So this might be the ladder that it was missing in the other canyon.